judgment for the plaintiff as so ordered. Judge Glenda Hatchett is used to hearing cases on her television show. Now she's involved in her own heartbreaking legal fight over the death of her daughter-in-law. My precious daughter walks into the hospital and she never walks out. Everybody's here to celebrate. Kira Johnson had just given birth to a healthy baby boy. Judge Hatchett's son, Charles, is heard beaming. <laughs> but a few hours later, Kira was dead. I was irate. I was in disbelief. Never, ever, ever did I think that I would not see her again. Charles thought of his 39-year-old wife as a superwoman. She spoke five languages, raced cars, and was an avid skydiver. Honest to goodness, she was the most amazing person I ever met in my life. The two were excited to soon welcome a second son into their family. Kira came here to Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles for what should have been a routine procedure, a C-section. According to this lawsuit, when Kira was recovering in her hospital room, her blood pressure plummeted, her heart began racing, and she complained of pain in her abdomen. Her family says she wasn't taken back into surgery for 10 hours. There were some very, very clear signs very early on that she was hemorrhaging internally. Are you shocked that it took so long yes. to get your wife back into surgery? I was definitely shocked. We definitely pleaded repeatedly for them to take action. His lawsuit claims doctors knew Kira had excessive bleeding and ordered CT scans, but <laughs> records do not reflect these scans were ever performed. 10 hours after her C-section, she was finally taken into surgery. Doctors reportedly found three liters of blood in her abdomen. They were not able to save her. The last thing she said to me was that, um, was I'm scared. And um, I held her hand and I, I kissed her and I told her that everything was going to be okay. His youngest son Langston just celebrated his first birthday without his mother. His other son, now two and a half, still wakes up crying for his mom. And I would respond, I'll say, well, Charles, he's in heaven. And his response to me will be, well, I want to go too. Having that conversation with the two-year-old is something that I, I, um, I don't know quite how I'll ever be able to figure out. Judge Hatchett hopes by sharing their personal tragedy, they can prevent this nightmare from happening to anyone else. We are devastated by her death, her senseless, tragic death. Cedar sinai Hospital sent us a statement saying they are saddened by the death and the toll that it's taking on the family, adding they strongly support their goal of determining exactly why this happened.